talk about how to get a better range of motion, especially during any pressing, right? Shoulder press, bench press. I want you guys to get a real good range of motion. So first thing I'm gonna do is kind of test it out. So here, notice my range of motion, right? I'm coming up, and the, the dumbbell is uh, a little in front of me. So how do I get it back to where I want it without hurting? This kind of hurts right now, but I'll show you guys how to get that better range where my bicep is closer to my ear. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go three exercises on this foam roller. Right, I'm gonna go to a T-spine exercise. So you wanna go to the middle of your back, right? Keep that uh, hip locked down or butt on the floor. From here, I'll use my hand behind my head. Then come all the way back, as far as I can, and then come back up. Right here, I'm gonna go five times, and then I'm gonna go a little lower on my back, then I'm gonna go another five here. Right, after five, After five, I'm gonna go up, a little bit higher, then I'm gonna go five here. So you can start from higher up, then start working your way lower. So all I'm doing is coming back, and then bringing it on up. Notice my butt stays down the whole time. You don't wanna be in the air like this. It's very unstable, all right? So two minutes or five and five, two minutes, I would spend two minutes on that. And then the next thing I would do is pretty much get my lat, how important is this lat right here? It prevents me, if I have a knot in my lap, it prevents me from getting that good range of motion or it prevents me from pressing over my head, especially using my shoulders. So I'm gonna get this last two minutes on this side. Lat and triceps, right? You can roll your triceps out too. Roll up, turn that hand over, under, right? Find some really good knots where it hurts, oh, like right there. Right, two minutes on this side, then switch, same thing, two minutes on the other side. Roll that tricep and lat. Now, I'm gonna retest it. I'm in a much better position when I'm doing it. So notice here, pressing up. Now I can go back a little more. So, the first time I did it, right? The first time I did it was here, where I could see, see that dumbbell, that peripheral vision. Now it comes back to my biceps, to my ear. Notice that range. This is what you guys want, what you guys are working on, or what you guys want to work on, especially when you're pressing overhead, even on a bench press. You want to get a good range of motion in those shoulders. Hope that tip helps. Right, see you guys on the, on, on the next tip. Share, subscribe, comment down below.